and got to the point uh the veto the power of veto went good um the veto ceremony was a little odd but i mean what are you gonna do any nothing in this house uh, surprises me i guess um and i'm pretty much 100 percent um feeling like the things are gonna go as i plan on thursday which is exactly what i wanted um to happen um i mean i don't see much changing at all um even if there's a big you know dispute amongst uh, some people i really don't feel like it's going to change anybody's vote um i know for a fact the three people that are on the alliance of both Libra and Keisha, I know which way they're going, so I don't think that really matters, and I have a feeling I know the three of the other people how it's going. So, um, you know, my parents' anniversary is Thursday, and I think that it's just going to be a good day for me and for them and for, you know, all of America who's been waiting for this moment. I love you. Mwah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me, just went down the wrong. So went down the See, you mean you were having, you know, I think we get clumped around each other. I know, it's only the clump. Please forgive. Oh, wow. uh, um, <laughs> so, just spell it out for me. Who, who do you want gone? I want, you want me to spell the name? L I B R A. I know, I was just kind of no, going with the flow. I would like Libra to be gone. Um, I think that she has made her bed, so she must lie in it. And you reap what you sow. And I believe that she deserves to be gone for all the things that she's done in here. And the fact that she basically said that, you know, if I wasn't where I was, I would be on the block and I'm sh probably be gone. It's just funny to be the one to put her up there. Um, and for everything that's been happening a few weeks, the past few weeks with me and what happened with Jesse, I just think that it couldn't have been a perfect scenario and uh, it couldn't have happened any better than, than what is happening. And, um, I'm not going to, you know, be very excited until Thursday at the live eviction um when i hear the words come out of julie's mouth that's when i'm going to be just happy and just really you know where i can really enjoy um the decision i made and the outcome because that's the only time that i will actually know what actually will happen so thursday where are you well um you know going now that you are going to be responsible for the first jury member, whoever that may be. Um, no, I mean, come on. I mean, you never know in this house. Yeah, see, that's... Yeah. That's why I'm saying I'm not going to sit here and be like, Yay, she's gone! When Thursday, when Julie says, the vote is, blah to blah, blah, you're gone, that's when I'm going to... You'll see a big smile on my face, hopefully. I'm not going to be like these other people. And, 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 you know, I know this is what's happening. I know you're, you know what I mean? I know you're 100% safe. You know, I know that blah, blah, blah. I got word, word on Nana and Bobo and Boo Boo and uh, my Uncle Joe. Come on. When people start saying that, that's when you got to get scared. Not to worry then. Okay. Copy that. Copy that. Roger that. Roger that. That's my boss's name, Roger. Roger, I want my job still when I get home. Your boss's name is Roger? Yes. Ah, good to know. Yeah, Roger, uh, when I get home, after I, I make it to the finals and I win, I still want my job. If you can hear that, that would be great. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I can. Okay, well, if you can't, you know, I'm not going to be mad at you. Yes, you will. You just gave me a dirty look. No. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Um, okay, so I do have a few CVS mobile questions. Yay! Let's go back to other things. I love CVS mobile questions! Because I, I love America. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that's the truth, America. I love you. Mwah! Fabulous. Mm -hmm. So, 
After all this time in the Big Brother house, what do you miss most of all from the outside world? Well, I mean, the obvious would be my family and friends, but I would have to say my cell phone. I really just miss being able just to pick up the phone and to either call anybody or send a text or find out what's going on with the, you know, the sports. I want to find out what's going on with the Red Sox and see what's going on with the New England Patriots um, and just be able to just find anything on my phone, um, you know, quickly. Um, and I also have pictures on my phone, so I would be able to see pictures of my friends and family and just a lot of crazy stuff that I do. So, um, you know, like I said, number one would be my family and friends, but I have to say my cell phone because, it, you know, I can get in contact with all my family and friends. I can see pictures of all my family and friends, and I can be in touch with what's going on with the world and everything. So, I miss my phone, but I would love to be able to have a phone call for my mommy. Okay. So... With this presidential election coming up, what are the biggest issues you care about? I honestly uh, care about uh, America just changing for the better. Um, I think that, you know, not being out there in the world right now for a month, a month and a half almost, I just have a feeling that it's been continuously going downhill, if we can even go further downhill than we are. Um, gas prices, me personally, I drive a... Um, a V8 Durango, which I get about 10 miles per gallon. Um, so I'm spending, you know, a lot of money on gas. Um, and I do real estate, which my, my job rely, uh, relies me on driving around. And there's nobody buying real estate. So if I'm driving around in a car, in a truck that spends a lot on gas and I'm not making money to pay for the gas, you know, it's difficult. So like, you know, the um, economy, um, jobs, um, you know, I just think that America needs a change and um, it, it needs one seriously. So I just hope that um, whatever happens, that people really, instead of thinking about their tax rate and how much they're going to get off, you know, their taxes, um, you know, think about what America needs and what America um you know, what would be America's future with a certain person, um, whoever it might be, but they, I, need, I think they really need to think about others instead of themselves, especially if they're in the um, higher bracket of um, income. They're just worrying about saving a couple bucks, but they don't know and they don't realize that without the um, lower income of the middle class, um, that there would be no um, upper class. Um, that what, That's what makes the world go round. Um, they need to make money in order to spend money. And if uh, people that have a lot of money aren't spending it and are, are getting tax breaks, then what does that really say for the middle class or the lower class that are working really hard and who have more of a, you know, taxes and they're losing their jobs and, um, you know, they can't afford even the gas bill because gas is so high. They can't, you know, they don't, they worry more about the electricity bill than having food on their table. And to me, that that's very important is to not to focus on one class, to focus on everybody and just to make America a better, you know, a, a better country in a lot of different ways. Okay. So how does it feel to have a weekly part on the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson? Um, I actually look forward to Wednesday um, because I really like to be able just, you know, um, to see people, you know, especially Craig Ferguson. Um, and it's the first time in Big Brother history that, uh, you know, a cast of Big Brother has been on a weekly show, um, and that's exciting. I mean, um, it's exciting for my family and friends. I get to see another, um, you know, another day of me. Um, I'm sure they really appreciate that, and it's just, you know, amazing, and it's surreal to think that, um, you know, you're on a late show with Craig Ferguson, and... It's just, you know, this whole thing is just an amazing experience, and 